Breaking news. The newly renovated master suite on Vladimir Putin's £100 million megayacht, complete with a gold bathtub and crystal chandeliers. Vladimir Putin has lavishly remodeled his £100 million megayacht with additions like a gold bathtub, spending billions of Russian rubles in the process. Images obtained exclusively show the graceful, a ship worth an estimated £100 million, undergoing costly repairs in a Russian port. When Putin's other yacht was impounded in Italy, he began renovating this one, which he has rechristened Kosatka. Photos of the mega yacht's exterior construction in Yantar, Russia's Kaliningrad exclave, show progress. According to the brochure, the upgraded bathroom will feature a tasteless gold freestanding bathtub in the middle of the room. The dictator, whose forces are bombing innocent women and children in Ukraine, spared no expense on the renovation, which features a master suite lined with gold, crystal chandeliers, luxurious carpeting, and pricey artwork. Putin is reported to have amassed a £200 billion fortune of palaces, private jets, and yachts despite earning only £107,000 per year in his official capacity. Killer Whale, or Kosatka, was previously docked at a German yard before being hastily evacuated to Russia before Putin ordered his army to invade Ukraine. Our photos were taken in Kaliningrad, a Russian enclave between Poland and Lithuania in the Baltic Sea. It was last seen in St. Petersburg, Russia, while his other yacht, the £750 million Scheherazade, is still being held by Italian authorities in a marina in Tuscany. The eastern Ukrainian town of Andrivka was destroyed, and Russia and Ukraine have been fighting over who should control it. After Ukraine claimed full control of the village and released a video showing it, the Russian Defense Ministry said its forces were still holding on to Andrivka. According to Ukraine's Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Malir, the most active fighting is happening in the Bakhmut sector. To the south of Bakhmut, the offensive has not ceased. Malir, referring to two other villages close to the city, said on Telegram that things are hot in Klishchivka and Kurdiamivka. Our defense forces have scored victories in the area around Klishchivka as a result of recent offensive operations. Malir claimed that Ukrainian troops in southern Ukraine were inflicting significant losses on the occupiers in terms of men and equipment as they advanced toward the Sea of Azov. At least five civilians were killed and one was injured, according to a Russian installed official in Donetsk, Ukraine, who reported the heavy shelling by the Ukrainian side. Early on Sunday morning, the Russian Defense Ministry reported that they had prevented a coordinated Ukrainian attack on the occupied Crimean Peninsula. They did not provide details on casualties or damage. The ministry also reported that a Ukrainian drone was shot down early on Sunday in the Istra neighborhood of Moscow. According to the state-run TASS news agency, the incident resulted in the cancellation or delay of 24 flights at airports serving the capital.